regulatory affair is a profession, which acts as the interface, between pharmaceutical industries and drug regulatory authorities around the world. Goal of regulatory affairs professional is, protection of human health, ensuring safety efficacy and quality of drugs, ensuring accuracy of product information. The need of regulatory affairs of pharmaceutical was felt back in 1950s, due to multiple tragedies like sulfonilamide elixir, vaccine tragedy and thalidomide tragedy. Seventy-one adults and thirty-four children died in the fall of 1937, after taking a drug called elixir sulfonilamide, to treat a variety of ailments, from gonorrhea to sore throat. FDA launched in 1906, as Bureau of Chemistry, served simply to police claims made about food and drugs ingredients. At that time, no formal government approval required to market new drugs. The disaster provoked a public outcry, that led to the passage of the 1938 Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act, which gave FDA the power, to monitor the safety of new drugs. In 1953, a German company developed an over-the-counter tranquilizer thalidomide, labeled as sedative and to treat morning sickness in pregnant women. At time of licensing this product, it was not realized that thalidomide molecules could cross the placental wall, affecting the fetus until it was too late. Thalidomide, a catastrophic drug, not only did a percentage of the population experience effects of peripheral neuritis, but became notorious as the killer and disabler of thousands of babies. The basic of regulatory affairs stands upon concept, all substances are poisons, there is none which is not a poison, the right dose differentiates a poison and a remedy. No drug product is completely safe or efficacious in all circumstances. There is moral, as well as legal, expectation and steps taken to assure optimal quality, safety, and efficacy by manufacturer. The International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use ICH. ICH is unique in bringing together, the regulatory authorities and pharmaceutical industry, to discuss scientific and technical aspects of drug registration. The realization, that it was important to have an independent evaluation of medicinal products, before they are allowed on the market, was reached at different times in different regions. However in many cases, the realization was driven by tragedies, such as that with thalidomide in Europe in the 1960s. The urgent need to rationalize and harmonize regulation, was impelled by concerns over rising costs of healthcare, escalation of the cost of R&D, and the need to meet the public expectation, that there should be a minimum of delay in making safe and efficacious new treatments available to patients in need. Harmonization of regulatory requirements was pioneered by the European Commission Europe, in the 1980s, as a step towards the development of a single global market for pharmaceuticals. European Medicines Agency publishes multidisciplinary guidelines, on the development of human medicines, that are harmonized between Europe, Japan and the United States of America by the ICH. ICH guidelines are divided into four topics, quality, safety, efficacy and multidisciplinary. Quality guidelines are to bring harmonization in the quality area such as, the conduct of stability studies, defining relevant thresholds for impurities testing, and more flexible approach to pharmaceutical quality, based on good manufacturing practice and risk management. Safety guidelines are produced to uncover potential risk like carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, and reprotoxicity before marketing of the drug to avoid, adverse effects as faced in thalidomide and sulfonilamide tragedy. The work carried out under the efficacy heading, is concerned with the design, conduct, safety and reporting of clinical trials, and the use of pharmacogenetics techniques to produce better targeted medicines. It's all about medical dictionary for regulatory activities, 
common technical document CTD to assemble all the quality safety efficacy information in a common format, and electronic standard of transferring regulatory information. The countries which are members associates and observers in ICH are considered as stringent regulatory bodies, as per the Global Fund Quality Assurance Policy for Pharmaceutical Products from July 1, 2009. Permanent members countries include European Union members, Japan, United States of America and United Kingdom. While observers of ICH include Switzerland and Health Canada. Dot associates include Australia, Norway, Iceland and Liechtenstein. Four countries, whose regulatory authorities are not being considered as stringent regulatory authorities, many non-profit organizations are globally helping their regulation system to get strong. In 2009, United States Agency for International Development awarded United States Pharmacopeia, $35 million cooperative agreement to establish a new program, promoting the quality of medicines PQM among developing countries. PQM's goal is to help assure the quality, safety, and efficacy of medicines of relevance to the health programs. The program provides technical assistance to strengthen medicines regulatory authorities and quality assurance systems, and supports manufacturing of quality assured essential medicines. World Health Organization already working to strengthen regulatory systems of low-income and middle-income countries to produce quality medicines. International Federation of Pharmaceutical Manufacturers and Association, works with WHO and advocates policies and practices that encourage, discovery of life-saving medicines. The drug regulation and developments keeps on changing day by day as per new technologies and safety protocols. It is now key responsibility of regulators and regulatory affairs professionals, to remain up to date with ICH guidelines, CTD, ECTD formats, and upcoming technologies. Follow the stringent regulation of medicine and be a lifesaver for the global nation, and bring the best as a pharmacist.